I'm Grime Brills, and I'm going to show you what it takes to survive Ark Survival Evolved. I'm going to show you how to progress in the game of Ark, and how to craft the basic materials required for your survival, in addition to later videos which will cover taming and other more advanced operations in Ark. So first things first, when you spawn in Ark, check your surroundings. What's around you? Is there anything carnivorous or dangerous that you need to run away from? If so, do so immediately, or you're probably gonna die. Now that we have found a rather safe area to spawn in, we're going to start gathering the raw materials essential to progress in the game of Ark. First things first, you're gonna need to punch a tree, since this is how you have to do this in every video game, is punching a tree. So you're gonna need roughly 20 thatch and 2 wood. This is gonna hurt you a little bit, but don't worry. You won't die from this. And you probably won't be critically wounded if you're lucky. If you have shit luck, you're probably gonna die. But we're not gonna worry about that here. We're just gonna punch the trees and gather the lumber required to craft our first basic tools and arc. Now you will encounter other players undoubtedly in arc while I'm harvesting these. While you're harvesting these resources. Players can be a very unpredictable thing, and you're gonna probably want to avoid them early on until you get settled in and have a way to defend yourself against them. Oh, yeah, quite. You see that over there? That's an Argentavis bird. It's one of the most deadly animals in all of Ark. It hunts newbies on the coast and devours them in more than roughly two hits. It's extremely dangerous and you need to avoid it, because once it sees you, there's no getting away from it. Earlier, another newbie spawned in an ark and was instantly decapitated by one of these vicious animals. So now that we have our two lumber and all of our thatch, we're gonna need to start harvesting rocks and fiber from the ground below. This is a relatively easy process if you can find them. Remember, Arcs are, or I should say, stones are an endangered species in an arc due to the large influx of new players. Please donate to the Rock Conservation Fund today to preserve this precious and rare animal from extinction. So you need to gather the stones on arc and then run over here and start to harvest the fibers from these plants. Pressing E on the ground will gather not only the fibers from shrubberies, but also the rocks. Left click will of course punch trees. Now if you press I, you'll see your inventory. And if you click craftables or press V, it'll open up a menu where you can craft your first items in arc. We're going to craft a stone pick, which will allow us to harvest rocks for flint. Flint is what's going to allow us to craft an axe, which will allow us to gather more wood and stone from the various minerals deposits in Ark. Now quickly drag this to your hotbar, press 1, and we'll be ready to go and start harvesting the stone and the flint required to craft a pickaxe. Not a pickaxe, an axe. Now occasionally the servers will go down to f due to frequent updating. This is going to be a common problem early access. In addition to that, there's going to be poor optimization. These are things you're going to have to figure out on your own in Ark. And it's very important you know how to handle these situations. It is very important you know what servers you will spawn on. Now luckily, they've recently added a thing called My Survivors. So you can easily flip to this and find where your last server was. For me, I was playing on the PvE official server 370 for the purposes of this tutorial. You won't have to worry about PvP or other players on PvE servers, luckily. However, if you are playing on a regular official server or on a hardcore official server, you're going to have to watch out for other players, as they're probably going to try and kill you and take your items. So it's going to take you a little while to load in again, but don't worry about that. Once you're in, you can get right back to it. And you know if the server's down, no one else is playing the server either, so you're probably safe. Alright, not to worry, we're back in the game and we can get started once again. 
So the pickaxe, as you can see, if you hover over it, it'll give you a tooltip to tell you what which tool is better at gathering which resources. The primitive stone pick is good at getting thatch from trees, meat from bodies, and flint from rocks, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but that's okay. Now you'll also see you'll probably have leveled up at this point. Leveling up is a very important thing in this game, and is what's going to allow you to progress to further levels, and to further technology. So, if you're going it alone, one of the safest things to invest in is health, and that's what I'm going to invest in right now, especially at the early levels. Now you're going to be prompted with this screen right after that, and this is where you spend your engram points. Engram points are essentially how you research new technologies and new things to craft in game. For us, we're going to take a stone hatchet, and we're going to take a spear. Now we're currently being attacked by, a sp uh, I believe, a scorpion, and we're probably going to die here. We sure have. But this is a good way to demonstrate what happens upon death. If you have a bed, you're going to be able to choose the bed from this location here on the map. Unfortunately for us, we weren't that advanced. However, we can choose where we're going to spawn. I had originally chosen North Zone 2. That clearly is not a very safe place. So we're going to go for East Zone 2 and respawn here. Now you're going to lose all the physical items that were on your character originally. However, your levels will remain, as will your engram points. So, we're going to take a look at the engram points again. I would highly recommend that you only spend your engram points when absolutely necessary. However, if you do at the very beginning want to spend your engram points, you're always going to want to pick up a hatchet, because that's going to allow you to get more resources and more minerals. And a spear is always a safe bet, because it's going to protect you in the event you do run into a scorpion. Campfires are going to allow you to cook things, and this is armor. I would probably stay away from any building things at first, because you're probably going to only be able to build thatch, which is one of the worst buildings that you can break into with your fist. Playing with a group of friends is fairly important in this game, and if I were you, I would find several of the survivors to group up with so you can start arc off with relative security. And you all can choose different abilities to level up, so that way not all of you have to spend all of your points on the same thing. There aren't enough points in an arc as you level up to gather every single different blueprint, so it's important to prioritize what things you absolutely need. Which is why I would advise you to do it so at the time. Don't spend your engram points as soon as you level up. Spend them after, when you need them. And you can always access your engram points, and you can always save them. So, press I, click the engram point, click this, whatever you want to learn, and then press learn engram. So I think this is going to end our first tutorial on Ark. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something. Remember to like and subscribe. And next time, I'll probably do something on taming or perhaps building. I'll see you all next time.